Hello my dear friends I hope you're doing good so welcome to Monday nights with Mohit Kamath again so this is the epi- episode 16 you know how long we have come 16 episodes my god i'm very excited for that every episode i have put a lot of passion and a lot of learnings and a lot of uh, um desire to show the best what i can do for you guys and every episode i want to bring that con- content which will enrich your knowledge as well as my knowledge and all the people who are there in this room so we have wow so excited i think uh, we have couple of um, uh, participants here so there is a yeah so that's ravi bhat hello ravi bhat so we have um, <clears throat> trending videos by ramdas kamath hello ramdas so i hope you are doing well so how was your monday tell me how was your monday here hi sir this is sinchana here hello sinchana how are you doing so is this the same sinchana who who is always been called as uh, sinchu are you the same sinchana yes hello vishwas i hope you are doing good i know ravi bhat Yes Disha I know it's you but uh, the name is uh, saying as Ravi Bhat you might have to change that again next time yeah so <clears throat> so today's topic you know what is today's topic right it's summer camp <laughs> so Anusha Shanbhai Shanbhag that's my wife Ola oh are you taking an Ola or are you taking an Uber that's just a bad joke yeah by ramdas kamath as always good watching monday night with mohit yes thank you so much you know these kind of words really um, i would say support me and help me and motivate me to do better and better every day every week sorry for that every week right so i need some enthusiasm from you guys so yeah so this is summer camp i'm always excited for summer camp because summer camp is the time i feel all of us are free especially children's are free and they need to experience the the full on sporting or the full on um a time which will be available for them to uh, get into the multiple uh, activities whether it could be i'm not just talking about badminton players i'm just talking about the general idea of summer camp whether it could be singing dancing music class chess class um what sort you can make abacus abacus is one thing i i hear a lot uh, nowadays right so vedic maths then we have bharatnatyam kathakali so many good things right oh and we have one of uh, my favorite guy sampath sagar good evening uh, sampath i hope you're doing good So Anusha Shanbag nice t-shirt Mohit sir yes that's good I look like portugal this is the portuguese color uh, t-shirt which has been a gift for me Yes Sinchana I am doing good Absolutely right so how's it going in your life so what's um okay let me ask this question okay so this is 2022 um tell me one thing which has been really um special in this summer Wo- yeah that's it i think you can answer that one thing which has been special currently in your life so if it is censored please keep it away we don't allow censor uh, we are strictly banned by the censorship board here so uh, please don't talk about anything which will be censored again but you can tell me um one thing which has been going good in this summer post post your an- post your answers here on the comment so sampat sagar yes music swimming summer camps yes are you hinting uh, uh, sampat mr sampat are you hinting about the kuch kuch hota hai movie singing and dancing in summer camp in that uh, you know that bollywood movie so good let me see some answers for that for the question which i which i asked you 
I'll repeat that question again. So tell me one thing uh, which has been special in this summer camp for you. Wow, that's a good answer. Yes, Disha, badminton is the most special thing for you. Not to forget that. That's good. So let's hear some crazy answers. Tender coconut, yes. <laughs> That's the speciality every time. But the most important part of it is the price. I have been uh, consuming uh, <laughs> tender coconut. <laughs> tender coconut right from 5 rupees. I think it's around uh, 8 to 10 years back. From there, I have been consuming tender coconut. And now it's sitting at 40 rupees. Uh, it's such a massive jump. Almost 8x jump. Uh, yes, so we have Disha ice cream. Yes, in that in this summer, the, the heat of climate, right? You have ice cream, you will feel uh, good. I know that. So what's your favorite uh, uh, flavor of your ice cream, Disha? You can post that. Uh, but ice cream, uh, it contains gelatin, which will internally heat you up. You should know that. It's a temporary cold. I mean, it's a temporary cold feeling for you. But in general, when it goes to your stomach, that's um, it'll heat you up. <clears throat> I'm still not uh, receiving a full-fledged answer. Uh, Mr. Vinay, if you're there, if you're listening, tell me that one thing which is special. Now, the badminton answer is already done. Yeah, summer, safe moon. Yes. Safe moon is always. It doesn't have summer. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a very good answer, uh, Meghna Sriram. Cold water, yes. And especially when you go out in the day, in the in the in the days, uh, especially in the noon times, and when you come home or wherever you visit, if they give you the cold water, the kind of sensation you feel in your head, in your throat, in your stomach. That's absolutely good, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, Sumuk, yes. So, Disha is saying chocolate. Yeah, chocolate is good. Why nobody is saying vegetables? Why nobody is talking about uh, carrot? Why nobody is talking about um, cucumber, radish? Why can't it be a favorite thing for you? Why it has to be a chocolate or an ice cream? Hmm. That's a strange thing to know. I I kind of say wear mask, yes, but a lot of people don't wear mask, in, including me right now. So I think the the fear of COVID has almost gone, but still I I see certain news channels which are still saying that uh, we need to be safe. Yes, it's up to you that you need to be really safe and sound. And never get uh, uh, never get ill or uh, don't play any dangerous games. I always say that. Yes, I think there is a clash of answer. Uh, Vish, uh, Vinay is saying watermelon, and uh, Ramdas Kamati is saying watermelon. Absolutely, this is the seasonal fruit. Watermelons. Can you can you can you uh, imagine that? You know how nature has designed certain things for us during. Um, during almost the transition from spring to summer, watermelon is in abundance. There's a lot of watermelon uh, coming in the market, right? So see that watermelon is designed in such a way that, you know, it has a lot of water content, a very mild sugar, but it has a lot of water content, which will quench your thirst. I think if someone is a doctor here, maybe nutritionist would understand because watermelon uh, is also heat from inside. So it's uh, it's heat. But but nature has designed so beautifully. And even if you see during the winter times, there is an abundance of orange. Orange is that season. And orange has a lots of vitamin C. And vitamin C is good uh, for the normal function right in your body and and during your winter times you might not go outside you might not have that sun you uh, especially in cold countries you will not find sun all 12 hours or 10 hours it could be somewhere around three to four hours but nature is such such intelligent thing 
that it has given us right fruit so that it uh, when we consume it goes into our body and then it helps us to have uh, have a good normal daily life correct so we have mangoes yes my mango is my favorite mango ice cream is my just favorite favorite of all the time and even even mango comes in a season of uh, uh, summer i mean late summer during the april end and may which has a lot of fructose content and uh, uh, a fat content so which will also you know a lot of time you go outside and and you spend lot of uh, vitamins from your body and uh, you know that will help you that particular the meat of the fruit is exceptionally good yes vishwas gm juicy fruits yes any juicy fruits right good we have grapes grapes come i think grapes comes in uh, december jan right we already see, saw that it's still going on and again it is citrus grapes is kind of uh, sour and citrus right so we are we are very much in sync with uh, nature so let's go i think that's a good interaction thank you so much interaction makes uh, the session wonderful so let's talk about summer camp right so this is the second question i wanted to ask so how many of you i think yes we are connected to badminton what are the other things which normally you guys do in summer uh, when you have uh, no uh, nothing to study um, i know some of you are very ambitious you might have to you might or you like to open up your books and then again study even after the exams i know that but what is that which you want to you know ap- apart from badminton what is that which interests you i would like to tell you my interest right so my recent interest is with crypto as well as blockchain so i have never been into the tech industry but uh, understanding that slowly studying uh, about blockchain how the world is going to change how uh, how it is uh, impacting our daily lives you will see that some of you who are less than 15 year old i think that will be the uh, kind of daily life you will see in terms of your day to day uh financial transaction which will happen in private companies will be adapting crypto so that's something in future i would say metaverse is something uh, that's that's really interesting so not only during summer but uh, whenever i get time i go and do some research about that let me know what is that for you let's let's quickly discuss that around 5 to 10 minutes and then we will go back to the summer camp don't leave me here because i have very interesting um, knowledge for you guys what are the seven checklist very very important during the summer times there are seven things uh, which are which are which are absolutely important so let's go uh, ramdas kamat he is my brother he is uh, he is disturbing <laughs> drumstick drumstick i don't know what pot water yes absolutely pot water so i think you know we all had this uh, uh, ajimane the grandmother's houses where a uh, lot of um, vessels and lotas were designed by earthen pots right with the mud with the clay and oh, if they store water in that it has some coolness in that that's very good that's that tastes really nice i like that um yes so swimming yes swimming is something which is you know uh, in summer camp it's essentially needed but <laughs> but be careful most of the children pee in that so <laughs> so uh, so just be careful uh you need to be really uh, careful in that because uh, you might have uh, skin rashes and all so thank god uh, i'm not condemn i'm not going to condemn the sport but you know there are times where children are scared of coaches and they just pee <laughs> so swimming is a very difficult sport in summer but cool sport yeah um yes uh, learning mridanga wow that's good learning music is something which is uh, which is uh, very satisfying i love i love flute and i listen to a lot of uh, flute songs mridanga is something you know you you bang on right good so uh, yes vishwas board games some video games video games are very good it's my favorite 
I would like to tell you a story uh, which was uh, told by Mr. Anup Shridhar once. So he, uh, when he was in the circuit of uh, international tournaments, when he was participating in all these Malaysian, Indonesian Open tournaments, uh, Gopichand was his coach, the traveling coach, chief national coach. And he used to carry with him uh, PlayStation 2. And uh, whenever he goes to the tournaments and uh, he finishes his matches and then come plug into the TV and then uh, play video games. Initially, he said okay, that uh, Gopi sir used to not like him play video games. But post certain times when he kept on seeing uh, playing video games, uh, when Anup was playing video games, that is the time when even uh, Gopichan, Gopi sir got involved. Hey, what is this? And it, it, and he started playing slowly and then he got involved in it. And PlayStation and video games are one of the best to, uh, you know, um, passing your time. And and I, I feel uh, I'm not a hater of uh, video game, but I, I uh, certainly feel after getting into coaching that, you know, uh, video games, if you are playing in a limit, it will definitely involve and improve your coordination. It will improve your timing, especially the uh, uh, games like Counter-Strike, Halo. You need to find the um, uh, the villains in that and go duck and the right time you have to shoot, otherwise you will die. So I am, I'm in fact, a promoter of a video game. Don't take me wrong. It is just uh, my interest. So painting or art and creating things. Yes, Disha, painting is very good. So going a drive with me, yes, Ramdas Kamath, but we never do that. Uh, we hardly find time. Yeah, piano is good. Chess is something very good. So I would like you guys to know that badminton is a physical chess. You are using your body as well as your mental capacity all the time, innovating how well you have to perform at your best and not only from your at your best but also figure out how best your opponent is and you have to place the shuttle in such a way that it is never 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 an easy shot for your opponent right that itself is an innovation i was recently talking to uh, one of the founder of a very big company and i was sharing why badminton is most underrated if you are a parent then you should really listen to this badminton is very underrated sport because it involves so much mental agility, so much physical uh, activity that none other sport, I would say that literally none other sport which is as safe as badminton, uh, develops a child's mental and physical capacity to the highest. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're, a bad, you're playing badminton and you're standing. I would say not in the beginner's level, but I would say somewhere in advance or where if you're participating in a high competitive uh, tournaments like state or national. At that particular match, when you stand, you will have to position yourself physically and mentally in such a way that you will never be a loser of that particular rally. Stay with me here because this is very important. And when you start the rally, the first thing you will have to do is keep the shuttle in play. And for that, it requires tremendous timing, tremendous uh, control, tremendous accuracy, tremendous uh, uh, consistency that all the time the shuttle should never fall down. So you will physically and mentally be focused, be highly focused to, to go to that shuttle quickly and every movement in the court the court is somewhere around uh, 20 by uh, 20 by 22 on your side. 20 by uh, 42 is the full court, but 20 by 20, some somewhat like that. It's not the right measurement, but very close one. In that particular um, size of the court, you will have to constantly move around, lunge, jump, uh, go sideways, take out, take your hand up, then use more power. Your heart is pumping in a very different. Uh, fashion not like a regular fashion in that you have to control the shuttle uh, from this court to that court keep the shuttle in the orbit all the time in that you have to innovate that what is the uh, weak point of the opponent and then try to place that with high exceptional control and then take a point do you know badminton players innovate 
multiple times in a nanosecond because when i when i've explained all these things to you it comes in a very very sm- short period which is nanosecond you will have to you know make sure your body and your mind runs at a very fast time don't you think it is underrated it's highly underrated and if a technology comes tomorrow i am very sure people will uh, um, build that technology just to understand how the cognitive functions and the physical uh, uh, activity happens when you play badminton for 15 minutes i want to see that that all the droplets which has been uh, tingled and utilized by uh, our human body when we play badminton so badminton is a very uh, uh, underrated sport but it's a very very heavily highly skilled sport so it's easy to see and uh, comment on the tv because the camera angles are not that good to showcase or portray that how difficult the sport is but when you see it on live it's beautiful it's fast it's innovating so i would recommend you know the badminton players are are very intelligent and smart because it's always exercised your neurons fire in that motion you know your brains have millions of neurons and that one neuron to another neuron there is an electric circuit which goes by you know you must have seen this is electric circuit that neurons fire all the time and you have to be active chess is something which you sit and you uh, play but uh, badminton is something it's kind of a physical uh, chess so yes so i think we have spent much time now uh, for uh, uh, the interaction i think let's let's go to the summer camp uh, part <clears throat> so just give me a thumbs up if you, if i am audible clearly okay so the first part mm just give me a thumbs up if you are uh, if you are hearing me loud and clear okay yeah so let's go uh, we had some good news uh, for the last um, what do you call it um, the orleans masters right so orleans master uh, masters tournament was in france it's one of a good tournament and uh, our indians our very own mithun manjunath reached the finals and we also saw uh, our bangalore players um, ashwini bhat and shika gautam right so they played the finals so it was fantastic to see them uh, uh you know uh, play those uh, final tournaments let let's quickly go uh and find out uh who all they played how was the tournament draw and uh, what are the scores they won or they lost let's quickly go and watch it okay so this is my screen um okay so let's go to the men's singles draw i think he he could have won finals because i i know that he must have played a lot of times for that uh, junior popo the finalist um let's not go to qualifying because um, yeah
Oh yeah, so it was uh, uh, it was a Yugadi, right? I hope you have uh, celebrated well. Uh, Yugadi is the new year according to Hindu calendar, and it's not your January first; it's this day, according to the Panchanga. So Sai Pranith was, uh, uh, you know, he was the top seed player, and uh, you could you can see that he Christo. There are two brothers, Christo Popo and uh, Toma Junior Popo. They really play well. They and in fact they practice in, uh, uh, if I'm right, uh, in in Peter Gate Academy. So he was the one. And then we have uh, Shubankar Day, Priyanshu, Rajavat. That was a tight match here. And uh, and you could see Mithun Manjunath here. So he has played a fantastic. Uh, round so he has played couple of uh, matches here i think with hans christian solberg beating us he was once in a time he was a former top 5 player so i think that's a fantastic victory for him that's a fantastic victory for him yeah and then you see christian adinata from uh, indonesia that could have been a good match and then he lost the finals in 2011 and 2019 finals is a very tricky uh, uh, event where you have, uh, you know, the, the 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 pressure is little different. It will not be the same as if uh, you are playing the first round or even even though it is semi-finals. It will be really tough to play that uh, uh, finals. But yeah, some sometimes you know uh, it will take some some of the matches. You will have to um, learn how to handle the pressure, how how to keep your mental focus right to the point by point uh, thought process and thinking. Uh, so that's very very important not to get carried away of how you will celebrate when you win or what will you answer to the uh, news channel if they come after winning so <laughs> i have done that so uh, make sure you avoid that so here it's um, ashwini but and uh, shika gautam so uh, it was only the first match i think from denmark uh, christine and ameli they there was a it was a very uh, Tough match, I think, third game, and then they have this uh, semi-finals with the German players. That's how they lost in the quarterfinals. Sorry, so that's a good one. So that's a good uh, tournament for them. Well, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so Sampath, yes, what a week again for Indian badminton fans. Congratulations to Mithun Manjunath for silver and. Best wishes to women's doubles. Yes. So, there are a lot of players performing at the international level. I love that. Right. So, uh, our Indians should do well, no matter what. So, here we go. Um, let's quickly go to the summer camp time. So, uh, my complete advice to the people who are summer camp, uh, who are attending different kinds of summer camp is, uh, there are a couple of things which you will have to understand, right? So we don't have the school stress. I think some of the schools want them to attend or maybe they have the summer camps uh, internally, which is still fine. If you remember the last time when we had uh, uh, different training methodologies for uh, for different age groups. If you are under the age group of, let's let's uh, talk about the, the, the larger picture here. Let's not go too deep and too detailed. One case, let's take one scenario. If you are in the age group between four and a half, five to 12 until you hit the puberty, the most important factor is developing all your fundamental skills. It doesn't mean that you it has to help only or it has to you have to drive your son or your daughter towards one particular, nothing like that. But it's very, very important to know that that is the period, that is the window, which is five from the age of 5 to 12, to develop all the fundamental skills like motor skills, coordination, uh, agility, different change of direction training, then you're uh, improving your range of uh, muscular uh, motions, improving your uh, 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 flexibility and uh, um, learning different skills, um, understanding what is mental agility, bringing focus, um, working on the uh, initial aspects of the sport like you know gripping uh, in badminton it is gripping in the chest it is like how to make the moves 
uh, even in the dance the form the posture there are all little little things which which is which is very very important get getting the discipline warming up properly all those things have has to be there in that dope. if that is missed then later onwards it will become uh, really difficult so this is the formula which has been used worldwide by the athletic federations where the window if you go even more deeper that becomes more specific that becomes more individualistic but uh, it depends on the parents and players if they can afford that yes very good but even from some of the academies like i do that in the high performance category where individually i look at assess their uh, strengths and areas on improvement and then particularly with the general format of uh, training i also uh, you know design certain skills which is uh, also individualistic which will help and enhance their skills faster so coming back to the summer camp part that initial fundamental skills of developing the brain into its full cognition developing the body uh, uh, helping those children to uh, you know improve their agility and all that aspects if you go deeper and deeper if you, you can research on that so developing those aspects putting a foundation to build a high tall high rise structure on that that foundation becomes very very important so working on that giving them the nice um, 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 uh, environment and experience in that particular summer summer camp is very very important if they like it if if children like that particular sport or any activity then they can always pursue that absolutely not a problem so and even the training if you are a coach this is very very important make sure that environment is filled with fun if if the day when the fun is collapsed the training is gone for that children i personally believe a lot in that while they improve while they learn new skills while they learn new movements on on a particular objective which you have designed the fun element the timing the uh, the thought process for them what is next has to be there if that collapses without if that collapses then it's very difficult for them to come back next day so make sure that uh, if you are a coach develop that curriculum in such a way that that fun has to be there sometimes you know it's important to develop those uh, team building skills you know not it's only i and me it's also important that how we help others how we also take uh, others who are down with them you know all those skills are also important because we are connected to a society and we want we live in that society and we want our next generation people to protect the integrity of the society this is how my thought process is uh also yeah i am open for the comments if you if you have any uh, input on that so i have a question so what is the fees for summer camp oh my god that's a fantastic question <laughs> the timing was really good chetan uh what is the fees for summer camp uh i don't know which uh, you're saying if it is badminton uh it depends uh, there are see i'll just take you through the normal one it's a business question but that's okay i am okay for any questions so it depends on different levels so we have basic level uh, then we have uh, advanced or intermediate kind of level and then we have high performance level okay that's badminton okay yeah so it typically generally uh, starts with around 2000 to 3000 for uh, basic children like initial i would say to learn a b c d of the sport and then as you grow higher and higher uh it might cost more because of the functional and utility cost and all yeah so as i told you it it, it depends like different academies have different uh, location and different uh, fees so nearest to you it doesn't matter where you are uh if the coach is good and uh, if they understand the importance of uh, basic developing all whatever i have said the fundamental structure for the uh, for one particular player i think you can join anywhere at any academy it's almost the same um yes so so these are the aspects in summer camp i think it's very very important let me know what do you think what can be added for uh, summer uh, camp um, as per you so which could really make a difference in uh, how you how you train and how you do i think most of you here are coaches you can add on that the second and most important part which i wanted to share okay 
So, mm -mm. Uh, let just give me a moment. I don't know how do I add music because last time when I added music, YouTube uh, gave me a, a copyright strike. I don't know how how that happened, and uh, my channel was uh, you know off for a for a day. I don't want to get that, so I'm still figuring out how to add music because music is good. It makes us light. Mm. Okay. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> um, Okay, I think uh, I'm not able to do that. I was just asking from that time that if you are able to clearly uh, listen to me or my audible. Okay, I think uh, I'm not able to do that. I was just asking from that time. That... So, let me know if I can hear uh, clearly. So, this is my last piece here. And I want to... Um, yeah, I want to take uh, most important part of this summer camp today <clears throat> so uh, yes there you go thank you Disha so just give me a moment you can just relax for a bit so I'm just figuring it out how do I do that okay I can share the screen well that's fantastic okay cool mm. There you go. And we have three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm. I think it's not uh, clearly visible, right? Stay with me. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm just stuck with uh, some um, some technical glitch here because I'm not able to share that on screen, but I'm still uh, figuring it out. Oh, because if I stop my cam, that's the one. Okay. <clears throat> so, am I audible clearly? You can just give me a thumbs up. That will be very appreciate appreciated. Uh, I think we will. Uh, okay. There you go. So I found, uh, trying to find that. Mm. Okay, there you go. Yes, so if you're able to, um, uh, if you're able to watch this, there are there is a checklist where I have uh, listed down seven different items for you. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if you can see that because this this is the most important part of my uh, Monday night show uh, that 
the seven checklists i would say god filled items this is the most most important part many of them are missing so i don't understand this from disha so if you're not able to listen to this i'm very sorry for that oh yeah so there are seven uh, important parts during the summer camp and also not not only in the summer camp or during the summer camps it's throughout we sometimes come to a conclusion that we might be missing a particular thing but do you know what the secret is out of this seven items out of this seven checklist points there has to be one or two things which you are missing and because of that it could be the problem not because a thing is a problem i'll explain that <clears throat> cramps how do you get cramps do you know how how does a cramp occur when you have dangerous levels of water in your body which means there is no enough water in your body i think the ratio is for normal being not sportsman the normal being i think 70% is 71% is liquid in our body somewhere around uh, body somewhere around uh, i think 20 to 25% will be your hydration your basic water if your if your body doesn't have water then there will be a alarming red flag hey body will tell you there is no water there is no water what should i do it will seize you that's what the cramp is for a general human being it requires as per your body weight uh if you, if i am 75 kilos so i need at least 3 liters of water on a regular basis at least 3 liters of water if you are 50 uh, if you are 50 kilos weight then you need at least 2 uh, liters of water 2 to 1/2 to 3 liters of water that's the general stuff of it so it's very very important to know that you have enough you are hydrated enough i really love the way indian and asian uh, uh, lunch and meal and food system has been designed it's always you know uh, uh, either it is a curry or it is completely like a uh, uh, thick and thin curry whatever you take it as uh, saru in uh, you in 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 kannada you can say it as saru uh, ambli so many things which are all hydrated right so these have been designed by our ancestors who are much advanced than us no, we are not advanced i don't consider us as advanced because if you eat lot of bread stuff uh, that has its own uh, um, things i would not get deeper into that i'm not saying it's wrong but the way it has been designed by by our ancestors is fantastic most of our food contains uh, water because you don't have to separately go for a water uh drinking water but it consists in our um, form itself vietnamese chinese you must have seen lot of people drink soup that itself is a hydration but during the summer you lose a lot of water from your body sometimes you sit because of the heat you keep sweating that's a loss from your body your brain functions at the best when there is enough water in your body because it needs agility the way you need agility to move in the coat the same my brain doesn't move i'm not saying brain doesn't uh, brain moves if enough water is there then we'll have some noise kul 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 noise we don't need that this is joking so but for its function it needs enough water to send signals and uh, so many stuff the second pattern is sleep but the first before i go to sleep hydration uh, doesn't mean that you drink coca cola those are all bad beverages are bad it contains soda and that dehydrates you all the aerated drinks dehydrate you uh you need to understand plain water tender coconut i think someone said tender coconut uh, in summer i think it's my uh, it's ramdas yes <laughs> uh tender coconut so tender coconut is the best one because it has high potential high potassium uh, content it will regularize your body temperature and it has m- many many benefits which which, which is very m- microscopic and minuscule we don't we don't even know that we don't even we can't even see that so that will help you in your body so plain water is fantastic um, keep hydrated all the time the best way now the for example how do you check it how do you know that you know there is enough water in your body uh, there is a p chart yes it's a p chart 
where if it is on the yellow side, uh, if your P is on a yellow color, then that means there is okay, okay uh, level of water. If it is uh, water color or white color, however you take it, if it is on that side, that means you have enough water in your body. If it is red, then danger. It's completely danger. So don't let, if you're a sportsman, don't let your P color be more than uh, white or little bit yellow is okay. Because as you play, your body will be uh, in that heat condition. It will automatically become that color. But post that within 20 to 30 minutes, you need to calm down and then you should have enough water in your body. That is one of the, you know, the cramp part. Uh, second one, sleep. The regular people, the regular human being needs seven and a half uh, hours of sleep. But it, dip, it all depends on age. Age factor is a very important factor because if you are in the age factor of six to, uh, on the broader perspective, six to 18, then a lot of growth hormones will be produced. So you might need more uh, hours of sleep, maybe typically eight to nine. If you are a sportsman, even nine is good. They say, this is just a knowledge trick, uh, knowledge uh, thing which I have learned. They say uh, for body, the rest is somewhere uh, with a cycle of 20 minutes. And for mind, it takes one and a half hours, 90 minutes for complete uh, uh, rejuvenation and refresh, refreshment. So it takes a 90 minute cycle for you to have that one cycle of good sleep, deep sleep. You know, when you sleep, after two to three hours, you go to a very deep sleep mode, right? So that is when, you know, the post, the first one and a half cycle, first cycle and then second cycle. Mostly after the second and third cycle, during the second and third cycle, you tend to go much deeper. So it's, there is something called REM, rapid eye movement. There are many things of uh, sleep. Let's not go too deep into that. But that sleep repairs your body. Think of it like a tailor. Whatever um, uh, muscle tear which has happened through your uh, muscle tear in the sense, uh, your muscle will tear when you exercise and then again restitches it. That's how your muscle recovery happens. So uh, that comes through sleep and most of your repairs happen in your body when you are sleeping. That's how the mechanism has been set by our nature. Uh, the third one is protein intake. Protein is the building block of your body, which is a uh, building block of your muscle. Right. So there are, uh, uh, I think, 11 essential amino acids and nine non-essential amino acids, which means body will automatically produce. There is something uh, I can give you that personally. So once you understand that the protein intake, sportsmen need 1.5 times. I'll repeat that. Sportsmen need 1.5 times uh, extra gram of protein per body weight. If you are 50 kgs, let me uh, check that. A normal human being need one gram per body weight, which is one kg means one gram protein. Uh, if he is uh, 50 kg, then he needs 50 grams of protein for the normal functioning of your body. For sportsmen, since you're playing, uh, uh, since you're playing a high competitive sport, for sportsmen it requires one and a half. So tell me here now, if you're a body, if you have a body weight of 50 kgs, how many grams protein you require? So I will see how fast who can answer. Okay, if you are 50 kgs of body weight, how many grams of protein per day do you need? If you are a sportsman. Come on, let me see who answers first. Nobody? Uh, no, 50 grams is for general people. If you're 50 kg, 1 is to 1 ratio is for general people. No, Disha, it's not 50. Yes, there's the right answer. Amok Shait, 75. You need 1.5 times. If you're 50 kg, you need 75 grams of protein. If you're 75 kg, you need 1.5, which is 75 grams is 1, 1 is to 1 ratio, and 0.5, which is 75 divided by uh, uh, 2, which is 32.5, which is 75 plus 32.5. You do the math. 
फोर्टी इज नॉट नो फोर्टी इज नॉट इफ यू आर फोर्टी के जीज देन यू नीड हाउ मच सिक्सटी ग्राम्स राइट सो या हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व थैंक यू अमो शेड यू आर अ गुड मैथमेटिशियन या हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व और हंड्रेड एंड सेवन येस सो यू नीड दैट सो दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑन डेली बेसिस एंड प्रोटीन इज सच अ कनिंग आई वुड लेट्स कंसिडर प्रोटीन एज अ फेलो सच अ कनिंग फेलो दैट इट डजन स्टे इन द बॉडी एनी थिंग एक्सेस प्रोटीन इन योर बॉडी इट विल फ्लश आउट फ्रॉम योर सिस्टम ओके यू नो हाउ इट विल फ्लश आउट लेट्स नॉट गो इन टू दैट इट विल फ्लश आउट बट कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज सच अ थिंग इन सच अ फेलो सच इज नॉट अ कनिंग फेलो ही इज अ फ्रेंडली फेलो ही विल कम एंड सिट इन योर बॉडी बट वंस ही सिट्स इन योर बॉडी एज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू फैट्स इफ यू डोंट स्पेंड योर कार्बोहाइड्रेट वाइल इफ यू कंज्यूम हंड्रेड ग्राम्स इफ यू डोंट वॉट यू कॉल इट इन कनाडा कर्क सो दिल इफ यू डोंट स्पेंड इट अप देन इट विल गो एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू फैट इट विल स्टोर इन योर बॉडी you can see all around our places how uh, people are fat right <clears throat> i'm not body shaming this i'm I'll, i'll be very careful because i'm on online i don't want any kind of labels because online is very powerful stuff but at the same time sometimes you get trapped so uh, fat is not bad but excess fat is bad so it becomes that <clears throat> carbohydrates so the next one is vitamin d levels vitamin d has its own unique function let's get into that i think uh, vitamin d and vitamin b12 let's do some uh, research let's let's we both will do the research uh, the sixth one is strengthening your muscles need strength just you have muscles that's why your bone you have this because you have a muscle here that will contract when you uh, lengthen your arm that's why you need the muscle if the muscle is not there maybe you will not be able to contract you have muscles in your forearm that's why you are able to do that up and down excuse me so that's uh that's the you know the function of muscle and the stronger it is the more power you can produce so that strength is very very important and if again different ages different phases uh, maybe a coach or your trainer will know how to train you um stretching i know this is a very funny thing stretching where most of them neglect don't care and that stretching is the time where you talk right you talk you share don't focus on the stretching let your muscles uh, uh, not recover definitely you'll get injury and then you sit at home missing badminton i know i know that i am putting a smile on your face so stretching is one of the most important part of your recovery that checklist has to be there what does the stretching how, what happens to your body when you cool down and you stretch you relax your muscle the the range of motion of your of your muscle will uh, elongate and that will enhance the next recovery and then the next session you will be as fresh as possible okay so when i talk when we talk about strengthening it is about cool down there are multiple ways you know uh, there are uh, uh, nowadays there are muscle guns where you can massage yourself massage guns sorry not muscle guns massage guns then you have uh, rollers then you have massages then you have ice baths there are multiple things okay food is also sometimes um, uh, a vital part of uh, recovery so let's not go deep into that so hydration sleep protein intake strengthening and stretching so this are the part so let's quickly get into the vitamin d levels and vitamin b12 levels what does it do uh, for our body let's find that out okay okay let's stop it And then you can just uh, add on something some of the coaches who are there here you can add on uh, whatever we have to uh, you know any good uh, information which you can share that will be great okay <clears throat> just give me a thumbs up if you can see my uh um okay mm, let's go to google search okay <clears throat> vitamin vitamin d 
विटामिन डी विटामिन डी फंक्शंस इट्स अ फैट सोल्यूबल विटामिन दैट हैज लॉन्ग बीन नोन टू हेल्प द बॉडी एब्जॉर्ब एंड रिटेन कैल्शियम एंड फॉस्फरस बोथ आर क्रिटिकल फॉर बिल्डिंग बोन्स इट्स लाइक हाउ सीमेंट एंड सैंड विच आर बोथ क्रिटिकल टू बिल्ड अ स्ट्रक्चर और बिल्ड योर हाउसेस द सेम वे कैल्शियम एंड फॉस्फरस आर क्रिटिकल फॉर बिल्डिंग बोन बोन स्ट्रक्चर laboratory study shows that vitamin d can reduce cancer uh, that's something different i think for sport uh functions in sport let's figure out what's uh, sports performance that's what we need uh vitamin d is beneficial for people to increase the synthesis of muscle pro- proteins the concentration of atp strengthen jump height jump speed and power i think if you put it in very short exercise that it 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 increases your uh, synthesis of uh, muscle muscle proteins uh, right so <clears throat> mm, yeah so the first one which we saw the first one which we saw not in the sports performance let me go back now um it's it helps to absorb and retain calcium and phosphorus absorb so that means it is also a think it in this way it's also a device like for example f- mobile phone if you have mobile phone then only somebody can call you wherever you are so that f- mobile phone absorbs the signal and then you can get a call if you don't have a mobile phone then you will not get a call right that's the example so if you have the right amount and uh, uh, right amount of uh, calcium and phosphorus in your body it will absorb the calcium right it it'll sorry it will absorb the calcium in a better way and maybe the second one which we saw for sports performance in sports uh, performance it will synthesize muscle proteins which will help your in general let's not go into the scientific names but in general it will help your muscle your muscle body will become stronger so that vitamin d so uh, uh vitamin d food let's figure out let's food. it's really fun huh? i'm enjoying this i love this Are you enjoying this uh, together, sitting at your home, talking to me, and uh, figuring out and learning s- certain stuff? I really enjoy this. Yes, thank you, thank you, all of you. So nice, such a fast response, lovely. So vitamin D food in sports performance. Let's just Google it out. Uh, okay, a good. Uh, okay this is also a good one uh, beneficial increasing okay it's the same one sorry oh yeah we got it including salmon so this is salmon is a fish uh, fatty fish egg yolks plus fortified products also exist such as milk cereals and orange juice cereals i don't know what do you say uh, cereals you need you need your ajji or mother besides so that you know they'll understand what cereal it is then they'll be saying like you know ayyo howda adu ille sigutte anta okay so that's that's the vitamin d part i think we'll figure out vitamin b12 okay vitamin b12 first we'll find out vitamin b12 uh, functions what does it do vitamin b12 is needed to form red blood cells and dna it is also a key player in the function and development of brain and nerve cells vitamin b12 binds to the protein in the foods we eat oh my god such deep stuff right we never know how vitamin b12 has been involved in our uh, day to day life see this it's a key player it's a key player in the function of development of brain and nerve cells that's the reason i'm understanding when i teach something for all my students they they just don't get it sometimes oh there's a serious lack of uh, vitamin b12 
they just don't getting because if they don't have b12 then there is no red blood uh, formation cells uh, then there's no development of brain and nerve cells i get that this is the formula okay so i'm going to propose a lot of vitamin b12 so every time i think this is something fun i would like to do hello my dear children how are you vitamin b12 doing okay how was the practice b12 vitamin b12 yesterday i think we should start doing that so constantly i keep telling vitamin b12 vitamin b12 i think that will uh, do good <laughs> just kidding <laughs> yeah no just kidding we need to have fun life is too short to be serious vitamin b12 the last part okay vitamin b12 uh, for sport sports performance yeah some research suggests that athletes with poor or marginal nutritional status for vitamin may have decreased ability to perform high intensity exercises in women specifically higher b12 correlated with enhanced athletic performance wow good news for women here raise your hands women so you if you need a uh, good enhanced athletic performance if you have higher b12 that's good but do you think if you go and win a tournament that means you have vitamin b12 good vitamin b12 doubtful right yeah uh will have negative impact earning in a deficiency state okay let's not go too much because google is sometimes you know you need to understand how to use it because it's sometimes too much it's like a rabbit hole you keep getting inside um it looks good let me test this mm. sorry uh, i hope you are able to see this clearly because uh, it's very important this is for you mm. am i not audible hello <clears throat> oh okay am i not audible now hmm okay okay let's quickly go back because we've already crossed one hour so yeah what is it critical vitamin uh, red blood cells red blood and white blood cells two different uh, cells very important for us human by human body i think that's it for uh, sports performance i think this is the one uh, not beyond anything like that mm. how much this is very important you know ask you can ask questions you know we can google it out and we can uh, uh figure out how much does b12 now we know that how much vitamin we need vitamin d and vitamin uh, uh, b12 but how do you know how much we have to eat as per research maximum of the athletes are nutritional oral supplementation whether it's protein or multivitamins to improve performance and endurance the recommended daily amount of uh, vitamin b12 is 2.4 mg per day for an athlete 2.4 mcg i think uh, megna dr megna can uh, help us understand what is mcg microgram yeah i think milligram is different microgram is different so we need that don't worry on these things ah huh? uh, multivitamins and uh, oral supplementation so these are all like big terms sometimes you feel like okay because of multivitamins and supplements only we will get performance nothing like that so if you eat rich content vitamins or minerals or protein whatever it is with rich source which if it is been i wouldn't i didn't want to take organic because you never know sometimes organic is not organic so if you get the right content if you are a player leave that to your uh, parents they know they'll always provide the best things for uh, you so the first thing you have to aim is to have the right food only if you cannot get it then the supplement comes in place but then it has to be uh, uh you know um, consulted with the right uh, dietitian or nutrition if you have any issues with that but go with that first general uh, aspect okay yeah perfect mm oh yeah the screen is little blur okay 
yeah so that's it so i think uh, yeah so that was it i'll share once again uh, with the window if you can see this mm -hmm. number 1 hydration drink enough water let's summarize now okay quickly hydration neeru kudibeku pani piyo mere mahmood pani piyo sleep nidre acha kar ko sona tumna nahi to recovery nahi hote hi okay so protein intake you need to know how good protein intake do you want to see uh, uh, what kind of protein you have to eat for sports performance if you say yes i will we can let's google that i need to know whether you like it or no because if it gets boring then i'll have to shut it down do you want to google it out okay i can only see uh, disha is being very uh, active wow this is the answer you tell me uh, you can participate in this i am very sure this is kalyani she has only written s yes just for fun huh? please don't take it personal just for fun okay let's quickly go to that okay protein intake mm. cool mm. how much protein intake needed for sports performance uh 1.2 to 2 g so the average is 1.5 i was right uh body weight per day for athletes sometimes 2 g i would say this uh with uh, the knowledge which i have from the experts uh 2 g is somewhere with some individual conditions but also sport like weight lifting and all they need the 2 grams because uh, it's all power lifting uh, sport right it's all power game all the time but if you want a good sports performance in chess if you have 2 grams of protein then you need a bigger chair okay how much protein intake uh, okay so let's figure out protein um protein content in veg food in vegetables chart let's see the chart this looks good um okay spinach 49% protein i think this is all 100 grams if i'm not wrong um Okay, let's take. Oh yeah, this is clear. I'm very sure now you can see this. Okay. Can you see this now clearly? I'm sorry. Okay, spinach, forty-nine percent. Kale, forty-five percent. Broccoli, forty-five percent. Cauliflower, cauliflower, forty percent. Mushroom, thirty-eight. Parsley, thirty-four. Lot of green vegetables have uh, more protein. okay we need to have more green now cabbage has 22 pro, uh, this one 22% protein tomatoes 18% oh let's call it as uh, tomatoes beef 25% protein chicken 23 eggs 12 i think meat consists less protein huh? spinach kale broccoli has more protein i think you can see more uh, clearly now yeah so spinach you can see now here spinach uh, kale broccoli cauliflower has more proteins now in the vegetarian so beef has 25% protein chicken 23% x 12% egg white has more of it more content of it All right so yeah if we go to this now protein content in vegetables chart right so I think yeah, that's pretty it, right? <clears throat> Chalo, that's it. 
so this was it um there you go we finished today's session was good i loved it i loved the interaction from you guys again hydration hydration is very very important soya bean horse gram egg white yes that's good mr sampa thank you so much hydration sleep protein intake vitamin d levels is it vitamin d d means disco no vitamin d levels vitamin b12 levels you know what does it do if you don't do if you don't get it you can rewatch uh, my video in uh, youtube please subscribe if you have not done my subscribers are not growing and i will blame you so pass it on to your friends your family members please subscribe so that i can uh, get motivated then we have strengthening then we have stretching so seven checklists that's the secret i have given it to you don't miss that so especially during summers these are very very important so you know what to do okay we are end of the show i didn't i don't want to leave i felt really nice uh, having this today oh yeah how can i miss that okay how was your monday did you have the ande for protein intake did you have the ande on monday <laughs> yes i sorry i forgot thanks for reminding disha so sunday ho ya monday roz khao ande that's how it is so don't forget about this checklist and congratulations to all our uh, players who did really well in orlean masters keep winning keep uh, uh, enjoying that's more important monday is the start summer camp is the start so summer camp is the typical time where you gain maximum out of the sport or the skill or or the activity what you're doing so enjoy fantastic uh, enjoy your time summer is summer comes only once in a year so please enjoy thank you tilak always interested cause of your videos on monday nights yes thank you so much this motivates me a lot so have a nice monday uh we'll see you soon be be into sports and enjoy okay thank you so much for joining me bye bye